Vernon Kay will replace Ken Bruce on BBC Radio 2, the BBC has confirmed. He will host the mid-morning show on BBC Radio 2, and will launch his new show in May. Of his new venture, Vernon says, I am absolutely over the moon to be handed the microphone to present the mid-morning show on Radio 2, and what an honor to follow in the footsteps of the mighty Ken Bruce. I look forward to playing some of the best music in the world whilst in the company of the Radio 2 listeners who I feel I've got to know over the last 18 months. It's a dream come true to join the Radio 2 family and I can't wait to start. Helen Thomas, head of Radio 2 says, Radio 2 is home to some of the UK's best loved presenters, and I'm thrilled to welcome Vernon to mid mornings on Radio 2. He's a hugely talented, warm and witty host who has already proved himself to be a firm favorite with our listeners when he's presented many and varied shows across the station. I can't wait to hear his brilliant new show. Vernon is already familiar to Radio 2 listeners as in recent years he's covered for the Zoe Ball Breakfast Show, Steve Wright in the afternoon, Rylan on Saturday and Dermot O'Leary. He also presents Dance Sounds of the 90s on BBC Sounds and Radio 2. Vernon kicked off his radio career at Radio 1 from 2004 to 2012, where he presented Saturday and Sunday mid-morning shows. From 2015 to 2017, Vernon presented the mid-morning show on Radio X. Ken, 71 announced his decision to leave the radio station in January and it was soon revealed he was joining Greatest Hits Radio. The news was announced on Kin's radio show as the BBC later tweeted, We have some news. After 31 years of presenting the 9.30am midday weekday show Ken Bruce has decided to leave. We're going to miss you lots Ken and want to congratulate you on a fantastic career at the BBC. Ken will present his final show at the end of March before moving to rival station Greatest Hits Radio just days later. BBC Radio 2 has seen a series of stars leaving the radio channel in the last two years including Paul O'Grady, Steve Wright, Craig Charles, Simon Mayo, and Vanessa Feltz. In a statement announcing his exit, Ken said it was time for a change. He wrote, after 45 years of broadcasting on BBC Radio it's time for a change. I would stress that this is entirely my decision. I will always be very proud of my association with the BBC and Radio 2, 